Hello, my name is Dr. John Badalamenti, and I'm both the Division Director and the Nephrology Fellowship Program Director here at UTMB. I would like to thank you for your interest in our Nephrology Fellowship Program. During this presentation, you're going to meet our fellows and get their perspective on our program, and you're going to tour the facilities that are available to you. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the hospital. This is the main lobby of the Janisali Hospital. And at the back, we have the elevators that take us to the inpatient floors. So coming out of the elevators, this is one of the uh, regular floors. We have rooms on both sides. I'm going to take you to one of the patient's unit. So we have uh, multiple waiting areas. So this is one of the patient's waiting area. There is a conference room similar to this on every floor. Walking to 11D, this is the geriatrics floor. We have nursing station on our right side. This is one of the patient's room and uh, all rooms are designed the same way. On the eighth floor, we have all the ICUs, including the medical, surgical, neuro, coronary care, as well as the burn unit. We are coming out of the elevators and this is the second floor and uh, we are now leaving for the dialysis unit. This is our inpatient dialysis unit and uh, this is the desk for our in-charge dialysis nurse for today. Hi Linda. Hello Dr. So now we are heading towards uh, one of the dialysis treatment room. Oh hi Dr. Jacob. So I would like to introduce Dr. Jacob. So she is the medical director of acute dialysis so she would take it from here. Hi, how are you guys? So this is one of our treatment rooms. So um, this is our dialysis machine here. So this is the water cleaning system that we have. And then, you know, obviously our patients are here in the room. It's a private room. We have a dialysis nurse here constantly monitoring the patients while they receive dialysis. Um, so at UTMB Nephrology, in this uh, dialysis unit, we have done more than 4,000 cases of acute hemodialysis over this last year, about 800 cases of uh, continuous renal replacement therapy for our uh, hemodynamically unstable patients, um, and about 200 cases of plasmapheresis were done over the last year. So our UTMB Nephrology fellows are very well versed in acute dialysis, and they get a wide exposure while they are here. Our goal in the UTMB Nephrology Fellowship Program is to provide a well-rounded education, emphasizing both the inpatient and outpatient areas equally. You might be asking, how do we do this? We do this through experiences on our two inpatient consult services, outpatient dialysis and outpatient clinic, interventional nephrology service, and through a myriad of conferences and electives and finally, and most importantly, through an open door policy that exists between the fellows and the faculty within the Division of Nephrology. So the transition from residency to fellowship can be a very challenging time. I know you have greater autonomy, but you have much more responsibility and the expectations of you are much higher in terms of your knowledge and skill. However, here at UTMB, they have designed the program specifically to ease your transition, to make it seamless from residency to fellowship. Specifically, at the start of your fellowship training here in nephrology, you're paired with a senior fellow. During that time, you actually get to learn the structure of the program. You get to see what the expectations are of you, what are the common type of consults you might see. In addition, you get to familiarize yourself with the electronic medical record system. There's a lot of uh, expectations in terms of your knowledge. The program addresses this by having a boot camp conference schedule for the first number of weeks where you start at the very basics of renal anatomy and pathology uh, and work your way up to advanced treatments. So these conferences are very key to learning the knowledge that you're going to need for common consults that you'll get as a nephrology fellow. In addition, the staff are wonderful, very approachable. You can always reach them. They're always seeking your feedback and they're very supportive of the fellowship experience. 
Galveston is a wonderful place to train. There's a lot of things to do here. It's very family friendly. There's Moody's Gardens. You can go to the historic Strand Street and to uh, the Pleasure Pier. There's 32 miles of clean, sandy beaches. So whenever you're not on service, you'll have time to go with family and friends to unwind and relax um, and enjoy yourself. So it's a wonderful place to, to live, to raise a family, to enjoy with your friends and to train. I would recommend this program very strongly. Uh, I wanted to train somewhere personally uh, with staff, with faculty who are very passionate about nephrology. You'll find that here at UTMB. The program is very comprehensive. So you have inpatient acute care service rotations, transplant nephrology, end stage renal disease rotations, in addition to outpatient general nephrology clinics and uh, home dialysis clinics. So if you want to find a place to train for nephrology, to train to be a very competent, knowledgeable nephrologist, UTMB is the place for you. Home dialysis uh, modalities have become much more popular uh, over the past few years in the United States for multiple reasons. Unfortunately, uh, training programs do not uh, always put a lot of emphasis on this particular field. At the uh, Nephrology Fellowship Program at UTMB, we take a lot of pride in the uh, training our fellows get in home modalities, including uh, peritoneal dialysis and home hemo. Uh, they follow a panel of uh, patients uh, during their two years of training. In the process, they learn how to uh, write dialysis prescriptions, uh, manage volume, troubleshoot, uh, and deal with the uh, different aspects of dialysis, such as uh, anemia, nutrition, bone disease. They also learn how to um, manage infectious and non-infectious complications of peritoneal dialysis and vascular access complications. We have an excellent and very knowledgeable support team, including nurses, dialysis uh, social worker, and a dietitian. They are all very engaged with the fellows and they also participate in our uh, home dialysis conferences that are held once a month. I wanted to take a few moments to tell you about the research program within the division. Since the division formulated over 60 years ago, they've been at the forefront of dialysis and transplantation with studies beginning in 1963 and continuing to the date currently. Also in the 1980s we added a very strong research program in uh, cellular transport mechanisms, uh, renal acidification mechanisms, and renal acid excretion by carbonate reabsorption. In the 1990s we developed uh, programs looking at mechanisms of cellular injury and how the kidney responds and recovers from cellular injury. And even today, we're looking at models of sepsis and how it affects uh, the tubular function with sepsis uh, in that regard. During this period, we've continuously been supported by NIH funding, frequently supported by American Heart Association funding, and institutional funding at a high level. So the research program has been an active, integral part of the division for many years and continues today. Interventional nephrology uh, section in our division of nephrology here at UTMB is providing a number of uh, services to our patients. We do uh, several procedures, starting with uh, arteriovenous dialysis access, troubleshooting, angioplasties, uh, thrombectomies, stenting, uh, we also do uh, tunnel dialysis catheter placements, um, tunnel uh, internal jugular lines placement for long-term use. Uh, we have our own ultrasound machine that we use to go patient bedside and do uh, kidney biopsies. So there is plenty of opportunity to learn uh, uh, any one of these procedures during this fellowship. There is a certain number that is required by American Society of Diagnostic and Interventional Nephrology 
to, uh, in order for you to get certified for those procedures. So that can be achieved uh, during this time period. We are very fortunate to have Dr. Gerald Bathard as one of our faculty um, and mentor in interventional nephrology. Uh, he's well written in this subject. Um, he's considered a uh, father of interventional nephrology and he's well known um, worldwide in this field. We think that the interventional nephrology program is very part of, part of the divisional activities. Nephrologists spend a great deal of their time taking care of dialysis patients and a very important aspect of that is planning, creating, and managing dialysis vascular access. This is a multidiscipline team approach that is required to do that involving the nephrologist, interventionalist, surgeon, the patient, and their family. The nephrologist really must be the leader of that team. And in order to do that, the nephrologist has to be very knowledgeable about vascular access. And we feel that it's appropriate for them to do at least some types of interventional procedures. This is two members of the nephrology program putting in this uh, catheter at this time. UTMB transplant program is one of the earliest transplant program in Galveston, Houston area. We started doing kidney transplants in 1967. The program over a period of time has seen exponential growth. We performed more than 100 transplants in last fiscal year and we are on our way to for the next year as well to continue this growth pattern. We have a robust presence across the Gulf Coast. Uh, we have outreach clinics in Beaumont, in uh, uh, McAllen, as well as Victoria. Our main clinic is situated here at Victory Lakes Town Center in Lake City, where we do all sort of uh, transplant evaluation, living donor evaluation, as well as we perform the post-transplant care for most of our patients. Thank you for your interest in the UTMB Nephrology Fellowship Program. I'm one of the transplant attendings, and our fellows are very much heavily involved in day-to-day -day activities as far as transplant is concerned. In the inpatient setting, they, they are able to evaluate uh, recipients and donors in preparation for transplant, and we also help them with induction uh, management and teach them the basic principles of uh, the surgical process of transplantation. In the outpatient setting, they are able to evaluate donors and recipients and assess their candidacy for transplantation and donation. Fellows are also able to manage the day-to-day -day complications of transplant and follow immunosuppression protocols and assess the side effects and complications of long-term immunosuppression. This is uh, one of our um, outpatient uh, dialysis units uh, where uh, nephrology fellows see hemodialysis patients. Um, they um, are assigned uh, to this rotation during their non-service months. Um, they round with faculty twice a month and they're assigned a set panel of patients so there is continuity of care. During these rotations, um, they learn about um, dialysis prescriptions, uh, managing complications like anemia, metabolic bone disease. They also um, take part in our monthly meetings here with the rest of the teammates. Uh, and the team consists of our dietitian, social worker, the facility administrator, and the charge nurse. And during these meetings, they get to interact with the whole team um, and learn more um, about our patient dialysis. This is the urine uh, microscopy room where we look at the urine uh, uh, sample uh, and study the pathology and also we can follow up uh, at the screen where uh, the resident and student uh, will be able also to uh, uh, look. Uh, after spending 14 months uh, at uh, UTMB uh, nephrology uh, program, uh, uh, if I need to choose again, I will choose this program for multiple reasons. It has been a great uh, experience uh, with the very organized clinical work and duties and a great didactic curriculum. We each presented several abstract uh, and cases at the national nephrology meetings, such as the American Society of Nephrology, the ASN, and the National Kidney Foundation, the NKF. Then the program definitely covered all uh, expenses for the fellows to attend uh, those meetings. 
Uh, we have our uh, monthly uh, wellness uh, activities. Uh, we get together uh, and uh, we uh, have either uh, outdoor fun activities or faculty uh, host us uh, at their uh, uh, places and uh, we usually greatly enjoy uh, those gatherings. There are uh, many elective opportunities. Uh, I uh, personally did interventional nephrology and uh, not only I was able to uh, uh, complete the nephrology procedure required for all uh, nephrology fellows, but I was uh, also able to perform enough uh, dialysis dental catheter uh, to be uh, certified and able to perform uh, those uh, independently. Uh, Onconephrology, for example, uh, at uh, Texas Medical Center in Houston, uh, through a partnership we have uh, with uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center. Uh, there are many other uh, electives uh, to choose from, depending on uh, your uh, personal uh, interest like uh, pathology, uh, pediatric nephrology, uh, urology. I personally love what uh, I'm doing and uh, highly recommend uh, this friendly and highly academic training uh, environment. I hope you've enjoyed this tour and I wish you the best of luck in finding the perfect nephrology fellowship program for you. Thank you.